Welcome back to the video. I am your tech guy, Wayne, and today I wanna to show you how to install a memory card on your Samsung Galaxy Tab A9. And I'm also gonna show you some other really good tweaks you'll wanna make after you install it. Let's go ahead and get started. Now the memory card slot can be found at the bottom of the tablet. You'll wanna find the little pins, the golden pins. That's how you know where the bottom of the tablet is. And to the right of the golden pins is where you'll find the memory card tray. Now in the box of your phone, you will find a SIM card tool that looks like this. And this makes it really easy to pop out the um, tray that you'll put the memory card in. If you don't have this, no problem. Go ahead and find a paper clip, bend it back, and you can use the tip to pop out the tray. You'll insert it just like this and give it one good push. Ah, not like that. <laughs> give it one good push. The tray will pop out. There we go, and you can see the top is where you'll find the uh, SIM card for your cellular service. Take the memory card and just put it right into the slot. It took a while to really get the memory card flat and even, but we should be good now, and we're just gonna slide it right back in. There we go. One note I wanna add is don't buy cheap memory cards. Buy quality memory cards, and how do you know if it's quality? Well, go with uh, name brands like Samsung, PNY, SanDisk, uh, Seagate. These are all companies who have been making memory cards for a long time, and they're very trusted. I'll link one on screen right here, just as an option. Um, but yeah, buy quality memory cards because obviously you don't want to uh, lose all your data if memory card craps out one day. Okay, we're going to swipe down from the top of the screen here. And when you insert a memory card, you should get a pop-up that says SD card inserted. That's how you confirm that the tablet is actually reading the memory card. I'm gonna tap open. You can look at all the current files that are on that memory card. Now this is an older memory card that I've used on other devices. So I already have a lot of files that are on it. Um, so I can just look at them by going through the different categories, images, videos, documents, things like that. This is also showing me that on this SD card, I've, I have 71 gigs used of the 128, so I have about uh, 57 gigs available to use right now. Now, if you want more information, then this is what you should do. You should tap on the settings wheel at the bottom of the screen here, and you go to settings, and you wanna go to device care. And in device care, if you go to storage, you're gonna swipe to the left in the top where it says internal storage. This will take you to your SD card and it will show you the breakdown. So my memory card right now has 22 gigs of photos, uh, a small amount of documents, 14 gigs of video, and some audio files. So this is how I can see the breakdown of how much is being used. Currently 55% of the storage is already taken up, but that's totally fine. And then here I can actually go through and it will help me delete files off the card if I wanna clear out more space. So that's how you just diagnose the memory card to see what's on there. A lot of you guys are using a fresh memory card that has nothing on it, so this won't apply now, but it'll apply later. Now. The next thing we want to do, we want to go to the camera, and the first time you go to the camera after installing the memory card, you'll see this pop-up that says change storage location to SD card. By changing this, now every time we take a picture or a video or a screenshot, it's going to automatically save it to our new memory card, not the internal storage. You definitely want to do this because this will free up your internal space. When your internal storage, which means the tablet storage, when this fills up, the tablet starts to run slow and it's really hard to use. That's why the memory card is so beneficial. So now that that tweak is done, if we ever take a picture, it's gonna save right to the memory card. I'm gonna snap a picture right now. We'll snap a couple. Let's hit the home button and go to our gallery. And what you'll see now is I have this new folder that was just created. This is a camera folder. And right in the bottom left corner, you'll see this little memory card icon. And that's showing you that this is where all the pictures are being saved. They're being saved to the memory card. So this is exactly what we wanted to happen. We wanted all our files to go to the memory card. And that's how we are just confirming that they're being saved to the right place. Okay. Now, another important thing you can do with your memory card is you can back up all of the data on your tablet to the memory card. This is a great maintenance piece. So if you go to the settings and you go up to general management, from here you want to swipe up 
And at the bottom, you're going to tap on transfer data for device setup. Go to more, go to continue, and more, allow. This will take you to the Samsung Smart Switch app, which will allow you to actually back up all of your data to the memory card. Now, this is a great exercise especially if you end up upgrading this tablet one day to a newer Samsung tablet. All you have to do is back up the data to your memory card by tapping on this icon here. One, it's gonna put a copy of whatever is on your tablet on the memory card, which makes it easy for transfer. You can also use this if you just wanna back up your data once a month to a memory card, just so if something happens to your tablet, you always have a backup of all your files. I'm gonna tap on SD card. Next, it's asking me, what do I wanna back up? And you can decide, do I wanna back up everything on the tablet or do I just wanna back up, for example, my calls, my contacts, my messages, or do I wanna do a custom backup and select certain things to back up versus everything? I would just say do everything, hit next, press okay. And now it's gonna to begin to back up all your data to that memory card. So this is just another useful exercise you can do with the memory card to help make sure all your files are backed up and kept safe in the event of an emergency. All right, guys, this brings us to the end of our video. I hope you found this helpful. I'm gonna leave another link right here to a good memory card recommendation. Again, please, please, please buy a quality memory card because I've used quite a few cheap memory cards before and what happens is I have all this data backed up to it and one day it's, the device just says memory card cannot be read. All of a sudden it craps out and all my files are lost. So I don't want that to happen to you. So buy a quality brand, Samsung, PNY, SanDisk, Seagate, these are all quality big name brands who um, use better quality parts and the, and they have this issue a lot less happen on their devices. So anyway, if you got value out of this video, make sure you bump that like button down below. I've made a bunch of other videos on this tablet as well. So if you want to learn more about what you can do with this tablet, check out my playlist right here for more helpful videos. You'll also find another helpful video right here. Thanks again for watching. Take care. And as always, have a good one.